A rare disease is defined as a disease with an incident rate of less than 1 in 10,000. Because of their rarity, research on rare diseases and their treatments often lack investments. Spinocerebellar atrophy is one of these many rare diseases. 小腦萎縮症有另外一個學名就係叫做脊椎小腦控制失調症。咁佢係一種咧令到我哋小腦細胞逐漸死亡嘅慢性遺傳疾病。患者最明顯嘅病徵咧係包括行路唔穩啦、身體嘅搖晃啦、講起説話嘅時候咧口齒不清、冇辦法控制自己嘅聲調嘅高低，甚至咧完全係講唔到嘢嘅。咁最嚴重嘅情況咧，患者亦都會最終咧喪失曬所有手腳之間嘅協調能力，唔能夠咧進行日常嘅活動。所以直至今日為止咧，小腦萎縮症喺醫學界都係被確定為一個嘅絕症。Spinocerebellar atrophy is a rare hereditary disease. It is mainly caused by hereditary genetic mutation. Until now, scientists have discovered over 40 causative genes. International research indicates that, on average, among 100,000 people, there will be three who suffer from spinocerebellar atrophy. Although this disease is very rare, over the past two decades, many scientific researchers have been dedicating themselves to study it. The research team, led by Professor Edwin Chan of CUHK School of Life Sciences, is one of them. 醫學界咧，其實喺研究小腦萎縮症呢一方面咧，已經做咗十幾二十年最少咧嘅研究嘅。而亦都喺早喺二零零三年咧，我哋嘅團隊亦都係獲到香港研究資助局 （Research Grants Council） 或者係簡稱係研資局嘅資助咧，係進行小腦萎縮症嘅研究。而喺二零一二年咧，我哋嘅研究係喺 Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences 呢一篇嘅文獻裏邊咧，係去發表咗。咁而呢一個嘅發表咧，亦都係對於科學界嚟講咧，係俾咗一個新嘅資料，係成個嘅研究團隊。咁喺二零一六年咧，我哋都係誒繼續去發表咗另外一篇嘅論文，就係誒喺 Disease Model and Mechanisms 嗰度去發表。而呢一篇嘅論文咧，主要就係針對住咧，我哋一個叫做係 P3 嘅腦神經退化抑制劑嘅發現嘅。咁呢一個嘅腦神經退化抑制劑 P3 咧，亦都係喺二零一六年嘅三月份咧，係獲得美國國家專利局嘅認可，咁成功咧係申請到專利。The pathogenesis of spinocerebellar atrophy can be classified into two types, caused by protein or by ribonucleic acid. The functions of protein in the human body include cleansing, providing energy, and connecting cells. Which allows brain cells to function normally. Among patients with spinocerebellar atrophy, toxic ribonucleic acid, expanded CAG RNA are formed in their cerebellum, impeding the normal functions of proteins, causing DNA methylation, and finally resulting in programmed cell death. Developed by Professor Edwin Chan's research team, the inhibitory polypeptide P3 is patented in the United States in 2016. P3 mainly targets the pathogenesis mechanism of ribonucleic acid. P3 binds to the expanded CAG RNA and prevents it from interfering the normal functions of proteins. It prevents DNA methylation, delays cerebellar cell death, and thereby slows down the development of spinocerebellar atrophy. Currently, Professor Edwin Chan's research team is investigating the effects of P3 with fruit flies. With the technology of genetic modification, they create fruit flies with symptoms of spinocerebellar atrophy similar to that in humans. By giving different doses of P3 to the fruit flies, the research team is able to study the effects of P3 as a medicine for spinocerebellar atrophy. The fruit flies in the test tube on the far right have taken the largest dose of P3. They are able to climb from the bottom to the top of the tube in the shortest period of time. They are also the most active. The lowest dose of P3 taken, the lower the level of activity. We can see that fruit flies that have taken P3 have significantly improved levels of activity comparing to ones that didn't take P3, shown on the far left. 
Even though the research of the inhibitory polypeptide P3 has obtained positive preliminary results in experiments using fruit flies, P3 still has a long way to go before it can become an actual medicine for patients with spinocerebellar atrophy. Besides having to test the effect of P3 on animals, there are many issues to face during the process of drug development. This is why Professor Edwin Cham has also invited experts in structural biology, nanotechnology and pharmacokinetics to join his team. I am responsible for using this with the principles in structural biology, Professor Edwin Chan's research team is able to visualize and analyze the three-dimensional structures of proteins and ribonucleic acids with computer programs. This is the molecular structure of P3, as shown by the computer program. Professor Edwin Chan's research team has included experts from different disciplines to research on the inhibitory polypeptide P3 structure, design, carrier, and the forms of treatment for patients. Does that mean a brand new medicine for spinocerebellar atrophy is about to be born?